So we're gonna do a quick point of view driving tour of the 2023 Toyota Camry XSE that I purchased a few months ago in Illinois. I'm just gonna go over a couple of the, the cool features of this car. So one of the cool things I really like about this car is a thing called the, um, I believe it's lane departure. And what it does, it detects the, um, the yellow or white lines on the road or the highway and it keeps you from veering off into the past the center line. So when I get up to a curve here, I'm gonna activate that and I'm gonna show you how that works. So what I'll do, this button here activates it on the steering wheel. So I'm gonna turn that on. And you'll notice on the dash it says, steering assist active, lane centering active. So I can actually take my hands off the wheel here and it will steer me back into the lane. It'll give you a little beep just like it did there too. And that just notified me again that I kind of veered off into the center lane there. This car also has adaptive cruise control and that's a really cool feature too. And I'll show you how that works here in just a moment. So as we approach a curve up here, I'll be able to take my hands off the wheel. And if this feature works the way it should, it'll actually turn for me. And it will only allow you to have your hands off the wheel for I believe 10 seconds before an alert comes up on the dash saying, please put your hands back on the wheel. And that uh, feature will be deactivated if you don't do that. It's another beautiful fall day here in Illinois. We'll be coming up on a curve here just momentarily. I've got a couple other uh, Camry videos on my channel since I purchased this vehicle back in, in late August, early September. If you want to check those out, I've done a full car review and I've done other couple reviews when I had the windows tinted, the spoiler vinyl wrapped and the um, mud guards put in. So if you want to check those out, please do that. So I'm coming up on the curve here. So let's see, well, now there's a stoplight. There'll be another curve up here coming up. So let's just drive past this. What I also like about this car is it's pretty quiet. I mean, there's very limited road noise. Um, this is the four cylinder version. Relatively low interior noise, I should say. You can still kind of hear the, the tires on the road, but for the most part, it's a pretty quiet ride, pretty smooth ride. I'm really enjoying this car so far. I bought the supersonic red with the panoramic uh, black roof, XSE trim level, the winter, um, package which includes the heated steering wheel and heated seats the driver's assist package which um, has all these cool safety features like I'm showing you here also it's got the 10 inch display as you see over here the JBL premium audio with um, navigation Android Auto Apple CarPlay all the features you'd want in a new car are right here in this Toyota Camry great gas mileage too I'm getting um, on average, a little over 30 miles a gallon. I, I drive a lot in town, but uh, on the highway, I'm getting up to almost 40 miles a gallon. So let's let's see how this feature works on this curve here. So it just bumped me back over into the center lane, which is really cool, or off the center lane, I should say. I put my hands back on the wheel now. See you hear you hear a beep. That means to tell me put my uh, hands back up on the wheel, which I've done now. I'm gonna go down the interstate here in just a few moments. Let this thing open up a little bit, get up to about 70 miles an hour. You can kind of hear the 
any kind of noise that may be coming in from the road. But overall, it's a pretty quiet ride. Smooth. Pretty peppy four-cylinder. 200, I believe it's 201 horsepower four-cylinder. My previous Camry was a 2019 XSC also, but it had the V6, which is really nice. It had 300 horsepower plus, and it was really pretty snappy. So I'm gonna come up on another curve here and I'm gonna test this feature out one more time to see if it steers for me. And it did, great. Love this car. Please send me some comments down below on what you think about this car. If you plan on getting one, do you already have one? Any other type of reviews you wanna see? I'll probably be doing another uh, review here pretty soon about some of the interior features that I really like about the car. But let's get, get this thing on the interstate and open it up and see what you think. And I'll show you the adaptive cruise control. If you're not aware of what that feature is, it's really, really cool. So I've got it enabled right now. And what you'll see here on the dash is little icons. set those to how close you want the car to be to the vehicle in front of you. So if you've got it set to the furthest distance, then you're gonna be farther away from a car and it's gonna slow you down automatically so you're not following too close. I keep mine set pretty close. It's, I think it's about 50 feet. So when I approach another vehicle, it keeps me a safe distance back, but not being too far back. And it keeps my uh, speed relatively the same. I've got the cruise set here at 75. There's a vehicle up in front of me. I'm gonna turn it up here just a minute, get up to about 80, see if I can catch up that vehicle and see if it's gonna let me uh, use this feature and I can show you how it works. I got it to 86 miles an hour right now. The, I do hear some wind noise. It is pretty windy right here in Illinois today, but for the most part on a regular day, it's a pretty quiet ride. Got up to about 92 now. So I'm coming up on this car and it should be slowing me down automatically, which it is. It's keeping me about, well, probably about 20 feet back, actually. Um, actually reduces my speed without me having to put the brakes on, which is cool. So what do you think about the ride? Do you think it's relatively quiet from an uh, audience perspective? I'm not sure how this audio is gonna turn out from my uh, camera audio, but um, from what I'm hearing, you should hear about the same type of thing. I really love the 10-inch display. I know it's flickering right now, it's annoying, but um, the big, huge 10-inch display, it almost looks like an iPad, like a tablet. I really love Android Auto features on that. So, I'm going to wrap up the video here. You don't need to watch anymore, but uh, leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think. If there's anything else I can show you on this car, let me know, and I'll be glad to make a video for that. But please check out the other uh, 2023 Camry XSC videos I have on my channel. I think I have three or four now. Uh, if you like this type of content, please subscribe. Please leave a comment. Please like the post. It's appreciated. I'm just trying to grow my channel here and see um, if I can help out any... Uh, consumers who are looking to get a new car, you know, specifically a Toyota, Toyota Camry XSE. This is actually my third one. I started out with a 2018 four-cylinder, upgraded to a 2019 six-cylinder, and then a few months ago I bought this brand new 2023 Toyota Camry XSE four-cylinder from a local dealership here in Illinois. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe, and thanks for watching.